Hi everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three of my Barbies from my doll collection. Um, I also wanted to share with you some things that I look for. This is why I decided to pick three Barbies. Uh, some things that I look for when um, I'm looking to see if I have if the doll that I'm looking at is vintage or not. Um, in the past, and, and there's still some times uh, that I see online, um, a lot of people are asking the question that they don't really know whether they have a vintage doll or not uh, by the markings. Um, there is a lot of information and um, you can probably find out the answer that you're looking for um, online now. But um, what I wanted to do was not really pay attention to the markings necessarily, just some things visually that I look for. Um, in a in a Barbie that would kind of indicate to me whether it's a vintage doll or not. So um, I have selected uh, the American Girl Barbie, the Twist and Turn Barbie, and Crystal Barbie. The American Girl Barbie was made in 1965-66 and um, these are these dolls are what I, in my opinion, would be transitional to each other. So this doll here, uh, she would be the doll that's coming out of the more vintage era. She is the newer, um, uh, the ones that were before her were more, they had straight legs. This is the first bend leg uh, Barbie. So um, the ones, uh, her predecessors were the ones that were just straight leg um solid plastic so she takes it into the next era and there were barbies before uh, in between here and then when you get to the mod era the mod um, is a twist and turn so she not only has that bending knee she has the bending the three clicks uh, but she also has the twist and turn waist and um, it's a twist and turn on a on an angle so this doll right here is what, in my opinion, would be the transitional doll to the modern day Barbie doll that we have today that's marked 1966. This body style um, was patented with the, the, uh, the waist that bends or the waist that turns. And so that's the, um, what all of the modern dolls have. And that's why that they're marked with that 1966. So, just because she has 1966 on her back doesn't mean that she's made in 1966. It just means that it's the same body type uh, with the twist and turn that this Barbie had. So I don't wanna pay attention much to the markings because what I really wanted to do was to talk about the things that you can look for um, in the doll itself to help you identify whether it is a vintage doll or not. And this is opinionated, this is just stuff that I use for my own um, knowledge um, that um, have, have kind of uh, proven true to me. Um, so, you know, it's not written in a book or anything, but um, this, these are just some techniques that I use when I look for a uh, vintage doll. So with the American Girl Barbie, um, a lot of the uh, older dolls, they didn't have really long hair. And um, I think the ones that had the longest hair were the uh, swirl ponytail Barbies, and they sometimes had hair that would go down to like the middle of their back, but it was always um, in a ponytail. And the longer that the hair got, the more uh, thin it became, and um, it's kind of uh, even a little bit fragile and thin. So um, the, she, this doll here has a lot of hair, but um, the main difference, as you can tell between like this doll that is vintage and a more modern Barbie is the amount of them. I mean, you can see how many hair plugs this doll has versus the more vintage doll. Her hairline is all the way up to her ear and this one here of course it, it has a little bit different uh, setup with less less hair plugs and also the length of the hair is is obvious so <laughs> you know you don't have a uh, long flowing hair on this doll and I don't know why they they didn't put long hair on um, the vintage dolls, I don't know if it's just because they weren't able to to get long hair on them. I don't know the reasoning for that. All I know is that that's one of the characteristics that uh, would, would point me to uh, that doll being vintage. 
Um, some other things that I look for um, in um, in the face, uh, eyebrows are a big indication as well. Um, the the dolls that are more vintage, the the dolls that uh, are before the American Girl. Um, this doll is just coming out of like the pointed eyebrow. So the older dolls have the definite pointed eyebrow. Um, the mod era doll is a little bit softer. And then, then we have the superstar age Barbie uh, that has a real soft rounded brow. Um, another thing is the eyelash. Uh, this doll is uh, molded plastic. She has molded uh, eyelashes into her plastic. Uh, so it makes it actually part of the doll. This doll here, the Mod Era doll, has a rooted eyelash. Um, that's, uh, these dolls are very, very pretty. They're so cute. Um, the the, molded, uh, the um, rooted eyelashes are so cute on them. Um, some of the modern dolls do have rooted eyelashes, um, but they're not the more mass-produced Barbies. They are more like the exclusive Barbies, like uh, Holiday Barbie, um, uh, maybe a doll that's a replica of a of a um, movie character. Um, it's more of an exclusive doll that would have these type of eyelashes. Um, so uh, the mod eras, a lot of them had, a lot of them had the rooted eyelashes, and then the modern doll, um, they mostly do the painted. The painted eyelash and so on on their paint just alone the paint itself you can see that the it's a much much different way that they painted this is uh, the uh, American girl is um, more sophisticated looking and this one is more uh, fun and playful um, um, a lot more colors uh, were used um, this one is a uh, um, they had only a few looks to them. Um, whereas the dolls of today, they have a lot of different ways that they painted the actual makeup um, and then the colors that they used for the makeup. So, um, and then probably one of the most important things about the face of the dolls uh, to be able to tell them apart is the mouth. And, um, so the mouth on the vintage dolls and up until uh, kind of near the end of the mod era Barbie, all of their mouths were closed. None of them had any, they never showed any teeth, they didn't smile at all. Uh, more of a pouty type of look. Uh, these are pouty looks and this is kind of more like a, a little kissy look. Um, and then, then you jump right into the big cheesy smile. So um, these are all modern doll. Um, I know that some of the, um, I've seen some of the uh, more recent Barbies that have come out and they are, there's some that are coming back to where they have a more natural uh, look to them so they're not showing so much teeth. But there's some other things that are pretty obvious that would make them um, a modern doll. So you can still tell the difference between uh, the vintage and the um, modern. So that's a big, uh, that's probably one of the biggest um, indicators that you have a vintage Barbie is the mouth. All the mouths were closed with the vintage dolls. Um, on the number one Barbie, something that is very um, obvious about that doll, if you ever <laughs> if you ever get to run across that doll, is the skin. Um, because those dolls are um, made of a heavy plastic, and this is what I was going to talk about next, is the weight of the doll. Um, the number one is a solid plastic doll, so she's very heavy. She'd be heavier than all of these dolls. Um, and then this one here is still heavier than these two because she's got a solid torso. Um, as they um, progressed with doll, they also got lighter and lighter. So this doll here, she is uh, the Crystal Barbie. She's hollow inside, so it makes her a lot lighter than, um, than uh, the American Girl Barbie. Um, her hair makes her kind of heavy because she's got a lot of hair, but it, minus the hair, the, this bodice, this, this uh, doll is, is heavy. Uh, she's still, and she's heavier than this one. These, these dolls got lighter and lighter um, because they, they started making uh, Barbies with different plastic. 
So that's one indication that you may have a uh, vintage Barbie. Also too, uh, the arms, uh, the actual body style itself. Um, all of the vintage Barbies um, in the, that were first made um, have straight arms. Up until you get to um, the end of the mod Barbies, I'm trying to think, I think that uh, uh, near the end of the mods, they had the uh, wires inside of the dolls, so you could actually pose them. But this particular, let me take this bow off. Uh, this particular arm, the bent arm, superstar era, uh, overtook anything that uh, would have been wire inside. And they still do make them from time to time, and they sometimes even make plush Barbies now. Um, so you can style them however, put, you know, pose them however. But this particular arm, you'll never see this on a vintage doll. You would never see this on a vintage Barbie. So that is one way to know that if you have a doll that's like this, and she is marked 1966, but she has this arm, she is not vintage. She is definitely uh, 80s and newer. So um, if she has an open mouth, um, long hair, over-exaggerated makeup, um, your doll is probably not vintage. Um, you can definitely tell the difference just by looking at them. This head on this particular doll is much larger um, than the Crystal Barbie as well. So this one has more of a rounded face and she has more of a kind of a globe head up on top. She's heavier up on top. So just looking at them. Also, um, another thing I didn't mention about the face is the nose. Um, on the vintage dolls, the noses are pointed. And on the newer modern dolls, on the newer modern dolls, they're more rounded. They're softer. So these are a little bit more Oh, studious look, and these are more uh, relaxed and more playful look. So those are just some of the um, things that um, I notice when I'm I'm purchasing a Barbie. If um, I don't normally uh, would not normally purchase a modern doll Barbie um, over the '80s. Um, the '80s are the the dolls that I do like to collect. That's uh, the dolls I played with when I was a girl. Um, so. I do like, um, you know, like I have uh, peaches and cream, and I have uh, pretty changes, and I have I have some of those those from that era, and I do like those. But any any uh, further than that, other than having um, a doll that's um, like an exclusive doll, I probably wouldn't purchase um, a Barbie. Um, just vintage. I go mostly for the vintage. I love the mods. Mods are probably my absolute favorites. Um, they're so they're so cute. They're really, really pretty dolls. So these are just some ideas that I thought I would share with you guys on things that I do, or what I look for when I'm looking for a vintage Barbie. Um, if you have any um, questions, or if you have any ideas of what you look for in a vintage doll when you're trying to tell whether you're getting or buying a vintage doll, anything that I may have missed, please leave it in the comments below. I, I really like to have um, other people's ideas about um, you know, looking for the vintage dolls. I think that there's a lot of things that you can look for, a lot of, a lot of clues, and um, the search is always fun. So, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.